Welcome back to programming in python.com. I'm back with another video. Here in this video, I'm continuing with the pattern series and this is the last pattern letter Z. In the previous videos, I've discussed about letter Y and it came to an end in this video, the letter Z. I'll give all the links for the, all the previous videos playlist in the description and also I'll pin it in the comments. You can also find it in the I button in the right corner of this video. Make sure you click that I button for all the previous videos up to letter Y. So now let's start with letter Z. So this is the pattern of letter Z. I'm going to print now. Let us assume the size as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is 6. So let us assume the size as 6. Here in the example, I'm considering the size as 6. But in the but in few moments, I'll go into my PyCharm ID, code the same program. There, I'll take this size from the user and based upon this size the pattern uh, uh, the letter the size of this the letter will vary so as you know there are these are called uh, rows and these are called columns so first i need to loop those rows and columns so i'll write for condition for r in range of s r is for rows for c in range of s here C is for columns, R is for rows, and here S is the size here. So now I'll, I need to write conditions where I need to print stars. If you can see there are three conditions. First row, last row, and this slanting line. So I'll print conditions for printing stars in those three locations. So if, so for the first row, if R equal to equal to zero, that is first row, and r equal to equal to s minus 1 that is the last row and if you see this slanting line uh, this is 1 and this is 4 1 plus 4 5 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 2 5 so row plus column equal to the size so write r plus c equal to equal to s minus 1 that is size minus 1 so in these three conditions i'm going to print stars so in these three conditions i'm going to print stars Here I have given n as empty because uh, by default print takes n as next line that is slash n. So after printing this star it will go to the next line but we don't want that after printing this star you need to print completely this. So for that I have given n as empty or space. So I have written conditions for printing these three stars and I also need to print spaces. So in else I will just write a condition to print spaces so that all the remaining empty gaps will be filled with spaces so now after this first iteration i also need to go to the next line then for that i will do an empty print after this first four so these are the basic conditions there are only three conditions row first row last row and this slanting line that is row plus column equal to the size so these are the three conditions where we use to print this letter z so that's the explanation now I'll go into my PyCharm ID, code the same program, see the output. So I'm in my PyCharm ID guys. So here I'll print the pattern of letter Z, which I've just discussed in the whiteboard. So let me take the size from the user. Size equal to input. Enter any size. And I'll cast this to integer as well, so that we can only accept integer values. And I will make a little condition here that is not related to the pattern which I explained but it's small condition where I'll check whether the size is 8 or not or else I'll prompt the user to enter a size minimum of 8. So this is just to ensure uh, we have bigger letter a smaller letter doesn't look uh, reasonable so just for the output sake. So here in the else, if the number is greater than 8, I'll print the actual pattern, I'll create a function for it and I'll take this size as the input for that function and I'll go ahead and create a new uh, function for this here. As, as I said, we need two for loops for row in range of n. For column in range of n. So 
so we have two for loops one for rows and one for columns so now i will write the if condition where all the conditions resides and here i will print stars this is it i will give end as an empty or space because by default print takes end as a new line which i don't want so i will just give you as an empty or space so here in else I will actually print the spaces so now after the first iteration I want an empty line so I print an empty print here so just after this first first so that I can go to the next line next line after printing the first iteration so here in if I will write some conditions as I said we need three conditions that is first row last row and the slanting line so for first row row equal to equal to zero and for last row row equal to row equal to equal to n minus one that is for the last row and for z uh, for this slanting line i need to check row plus column equal to equal to n minus one so these are the conditions uh, for printing this slanting line and first row and last row so let me run this and see whether we can see a pattern of letter z you can see this is a z we wanted this is perfect if i go for bigger letter 12 you can see this is the perfect z so this is how we can print the pattern of letter z